and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hopheads. And today, guys, I just got done mowing the lawn outside. I'm sitting inside now because my neighbor is still mowing their lawn, uh, so it's kind of lazy, but it's actually really hot. So I wanted something nice uh, for a nice hot summer's day, and it's going to be the first beer I ever review from Hanpoil in Norway. This is the Hanpak, uh, which is a sour ale. Wild ale made with the soured with the wild yeast and lactobacillus. lactobacillus. Uh, yeah, it says traditional Norwegian oak aged ale. It was brewed back in 2006, so it's actually a fairly old bottle. And uh, since from 2006 to 2008, it was aged on uh, in oak barrels. And then they bottled it in 08, and it's actually best for the the 21st of um, October 2011. So uh, it's um, this is a Fairly aged bottle, which is quite cool. So yeah, seven point five percent brewed with uh, barley malt, wheat malt, yeast and hops. Um, says this is a recreation of a Norwegian style naturally sour ale, aged in oak barrels for the authentic taste. Hanboy really makes living beer, not pasteurized, not filtered, but but re-fermented in the bottle to create natural carbonation. So uh, yeah, let's get this sour ale here cracked open. I hear that it could be a gusher, so let's be a little careful. Hey, it wasn't. Nice. Just a plain... Wow, I can smell the sourness already. It smells nice. Using the Unibrew Sniffer, or Tulip, sorry. Oh, look at that smoke creeping out of the bottle. I'm really getting into sour ales. Um, <laughs> they are so nice. It's because they're so complex, and for summer weather, they are so really nice. Um, so this looks like a nice sour ale, kind of like a Rodenbach Grand Cru, uh, maybe Cigar City Seabeds. It's a nice, dark, ruby red color, uh, brownish notes. Wow, it smells tart. I can smell the tartness just from here. Um, oh, <laughs> it's opaque. Really, really nice looking brew. Let's uh, dig in and check out the aroma on this sour ale. Oh, oh yeah. So this smells really, really nice. A lot of sourness. Um, some tart, vinous kind of notes. Uh, ch tart cherries. Um, a balsamic vinegar. Oh, it smells good. So, so, some fucking funk in there too. Uh, from the bacteria. Like a horse blanket, uh, wet hay, kind of, almost. Some brown sugary notes in there too. Wow, it's really, really complex. Like And also like a red grape, maybe a dried, like a raisin. And this, the sourness actually is really sharp, especially when you consider how old it is. It looks, it looks, smells really, really nice. It looks really nice too. Can't wait to dig in this. Cheers, guys. Let's give it a taste. Oh my god, that is fucking good. I think my favorite style of sour is sours like this, like Oat Bruins, Flemish Red Ales. I, I really like Nambics too, but I think I prefer these. Oh my god, this is so complex and really, really tasty. Wow, and the mouthfeel on it is medium. Well, not too dry as I expected it to be. It's got a fairly dry mouthfeel, but it's not that intense. But the flavors of it, it's just filled with like that balsamic vinegar, uh, vineyard characters, subtle oakiness. It's actually fairly rounded off. Uh, the, the funk, like the wet hay kind of horse blanket flavors. Um, yeah, berries, kind of like um, uh, red grapes. Uh, the oakiness isn't too dominant. It's more present in the back of the palate along with sort of like a brown sugary uh, flavor. It tastes a lot like a Belgian style uh, Flemish um, sour. Uh, it reminds me of like the Cigar City Sea Bass which was just fantastic and this is like really fantastic too and it's so thirst quenching. I mean it's really hot outside now and this is like really really nice. But if you really like Flemish sours, style sours, this is a must. I mean this is just fantastic. It's got like the brown ale qualities of like a traditional kind of Belgian brown with the Flemish uh, twist to it with the sourness. 
it is a lot like a traditional Flemish shower. It's so complex. Uh, you don't taste the alcohol at all. It's a really, really, really nice brew. I mean, um, this is, I think it's peaking about right now because it says it's best before 2011. So I guess you should, if you can get it it's now, you need to get a hold of a bottle because they only brewed it once. And they say that, th I heard that they're thinking about bringing it again. I read it on their website, but um, this is this is great. Oh, that's that's really nice. I have to give this a, a 90, 92. I mean, this is just, it's almost as good as the Cigar City Sea Base, and that's one of the, uh, the best um, Flemish browns I've had. So a 92 for the Hornbrugel Handbach. Wow, this is a really good sour ale. Definitely check it out if you get beer from Hornbrugel and you like sours. Um, so balanced and rounded off. Uh, fairly solid amount of carbonation too. Really, really nice brew. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think of the Hunbrugel Handbach Hunbach. If you've had it, uh, maybe some of you have. If you, and maybe some of you think it's way too sour and unbalanced. But I think it's so rounded off and that's just awesome. So guys, let me know. Uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Love getting the feedback on the videos. Remember to check out my Facebook fan page, The Master of Puppets Beer Reviews. I'm on Twitter too, just Master of Puppets, and soon I'll probably also be on Google+. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's it for this review. Thanks for watching, and cheers.